This video will take a look at river surges and sunlight's aspects and how they change gameplay. The first aspect available is travel, which replaces river's domain. River's domain makes it so wetlands with one presence is considered a sacred site, instead of the normal two presence. Sacred sites are important mostly for targeting purposes with the massive flooding innate power requiring a sacred site. Travel does two things. The first is that it thematically makes your contiguous presence on the board represent an actual river that Tahan can move around each spirit phase. Note that this occurs after your growth phase, meaning you can place more presence down prior to moving Tahan among your lands. Moving Dahan synergizes with its second effect, which creates a sacred site wherever there are four or more Dahan, as well as adding a defend one. Taken together, this aspect adds a fun special puzzle where you can move mobile sacred sites or bolster lands with Dahan each turn. It also leans more into the Dahan synergy from the river's bounty unique power, where you have an actual synergistic incentive to add more Dahan to the board. Additionally, you can use the Defend one to protect against the land with a single town in it. The second aspect is called Sunshine, which takes the concept of the Boon of Vigor unique power card and trades it in for a second innate power with elemental thresholds. In my original guide for River Surges in Sunlight, I suggested going Growth 2 from the bottom and top, then Growth 2 twice from the bottom, Reclaim, then Growth 3 from the bottom, since we could play all of our four starting power cards for three total energy. Here we start with only three power cards, so we don't immediately have two turns of two card plays without using growth number three. We do start with an extra energy from Sunshine, so turn one, we will have two total energy to use. Additionally, it's important to note that River's Bounty gives an extra energy if you can gather two to Han. So here's where I'm going with this. I think we should do growth number two on the bottom twice and go straight for the reclaim one. This seems like the most efficient use of our energy and cards. So the growth order I'm proposing is this. Turn one, growth two from the bottom. Play River's Bounty and whichever other card is best. Be sure to get the extra energy by gathering two Dawn. Turn two, growth two from the bottom again. Reclaim River's Bounty and play the other remaining card. Be sure to get the extra energy again. Turn three, reclaim and gain a power card. Play our three unique starting power cards. Get the extra energy again from River's Bounty. On turn 4, growth 3 from the top track. This gives us two minor powers in whichever card we reclaimed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.